Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Witch Doctor from 2011, or well, my last one for review for 2011, Hero Factory, of course. So, uh, on the front of the box here, you see Lego logo, Hero Factory logo, and picture of Witch Doctor in a menacing pose shooting his launcher, and of course, all the different villains, uh, villain beasts in the background of the ancient temple that there was. This and see his name down below. Oh, of course. In recommended ages 10 through 16, set number 2283 has 331 pieces. And of course, this box, same size as Takanuva and Mazika's from uh, from in Mystica Bonacle, of course. And also that this box kind of large for a set of thirty dollars at the time, but nowadays it would be that size of which. So this is sign of the times, and yeah. Then on the back of which, see the logos again, and his face symbol there. How to shoot the launcher, HeroFactory.com, and then also a little comic strip that leads them to the Savage Planet, and then. Uh, him fighting Raga XL. <clears throat> then on to the instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And same symbol, of course, and on the back, kind of went on the online survey. And then ad for Lego Club, ad for a Hero Recon team. And then large ad of HeroFactory.com. And then Stormer X or Stormer 3.0 against Scorpio, and then uh, Hero Factory DVD, and then the pieces that come with the set and the last steps. And now on to Witch Doctor himself. Well, he was a quite interesting, neat build for the time, like. You see, it does have mostly the CCBS system introduced for this year, but mixed in with Technic also. So my guess is they probably just wanted to make a neat set that, like, put the two systems together, of course. So we'll start off from the ground up like I always do. Is, as you see, it does have the size 5 armor pieces in white, and also... This, well, also he, which does have around five of these, uh, like, 2.0 shield pieces. Well, has both as back parts of his feet and also on other bits of him. And have the chest plate pieces in white with the black spikes coming out of it. And as he does have that, what, what y'all call the chicken leg appearance, but kind of like bentish leg is what I would say and of course the back pistons of which which of course Bonacle has always had since 2006 well actually the last time we've ever seen will we ever get to see this around since of course Fire Lord and Raka XL well, did kind of fix that a bit with friction joints and all you see odd build for the legs with but also do get a couple of those uh, double joint pieces as a lot of times and those shorter limb pieces in red uh, which also kind of nice and also do get also you get those again but as leg pads of course and as you see with each leg of which where it's diff where different bits are like different ball joints and of course a oh, whoops that do swivel back and forth and also up and down. Legs also there. And of course, the hip joints, which are quite neat. interesting, is that the kick can go back and forth and sideways. Uh, sorry about the squeaking noises, of which they sometimes get that way over time, and yeah. And as for the main body torso, 
is, as you can see, it's one of those new pieces, but, or pieces for this wave, but in white. Also nice to have. If I take this off, and there's two little assemblies that put it together, and of course, a couple of technic beams and all of this going on, of course. And of course, one highlight are the uh, Toamari tubes, but in white. But of course, nice for mocking, and, and of course, used as ribs, since he's skeleton -ish. But also, so he does also come with two red ones as well, simply because on the covers of which, he does have red tubes, but the instructions say use these white tubes. But I think they should like put both of them together, so, which I'm sure some of you probably did. And since of course there's an extra technic hole in these connectors, of course. Oh, and speaking of which, in the flick from the back, still quite barren. And of course, and also, I think these in these technic bits, which I think are all new for him. Which do you have two pinholes or axle holes and one pinhole above? So they were quite new and quite new and still useful for mocking. And do you have a lot of the uh, Ben 10 tail pieces in white, which we also see in First Wave and Ninjago? And as for the arms of which, similar build to the legs, also with the long arm pieces but at least ends off with a single ball joint to which ends for his launcher which is just a traditional meteor launcher but also does have another one of those cover-ups and also Verno XL's blades or I mean Verno 3.0's blades or wing blades acting as a back part of it kind of cool then for the other one, which which is a traditional hand, and also his little uh, scepter, which is kind of small for him. Although I think it'd be much better if it was like a little longer. But also, even though in the prototype pictures of him, there was some extra bits added to it. Not sure why, but whatever. And also for the as Daff itself, you see the new uh, skull piece connected by that armor piece, same as Witch Doctor himself, but also do you get the Quasa spike pieces also on his shoulders, and of course it's for him to control all the savage beasts. Oops. Now on to the head of which, which as you can see, quite interesting build to it, quite skull-like, perfect if you were to make some like uh, skeleton-based characters, which they also did with Bonacle 2015, obviously. And if you wonder how tall he which is. Like as compared to last last throwback Thursday, being Rocket XL, as you can see, quite a bit taller than him. But of course, in the Nick episode, with some help from Stormer, was able to beat him, obviously. terms of being sturdy, standing sturdy and all, he does stand pretty well, and of course quite nice and sturdy, even with a slight poke there, slight poke in there, and act, although he not so much sturdy, but he does well. And what else is there? Oh whoops, see so what else is left? to say. Not much, but I guess, I guess he did, although at this point in which, he did feel kind of a bit like Takaniva Mystica of Bonacle, of course, as in large size and whatnot. And 
And so now, on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think Heek of Witch is a pretty cool set of this time. And although he may be, since he is the main villain of this wave, but at least he was a little more interesting and more defying than either Fire Lord or Von Nebula. And of course, similar backstory to Von Nebula's, of course. Wish the staff would have been longer, and also do you think that they should have say uh, put the red tubes in alongside the white ones, of course. But he does also, but he does also provide plenty of good recolors, and of course, a bit of skeleton theme to him. And also, he of course is a witch doctor, which we first time introduced to that, of course, and yeah. And also. Plenty of good stabilization with the legs and the arms and everything. But of course it was just before friction joints, of course. And yeah. And so now, and if you still have him still have him from back in the day, well I I hope you had some good memories of him. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to him, then I'd say definitely pick him up. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.